Let's do this. A rectangle is drawn so the width is 2 inches longer than the height. If the rectangle's diagonal measurement is 10 inches, find the height. So first of all, we're going to call h height here, and then the width we're told is, what is that? It's 2 inches longer. So you're going to say h plus w. And the diagonal is 10, just put 10 here. And then you're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. This is a right triangle now because over here, this is a 90 degree angle in this position right here, okay? You can use the Pythagorean theorem for that reason to get h. So you're going to say h squared plus h plus 2 to the quantity squared is equal to 10 squared. And from here, you can find h. I'm going to have h squared plus and then h squared and then h times 2 doubled. That's going to give you a 4h plus 2 squared, which is 4. That's equal to 100. Be careful expanding h plus 2 to the quantity squared. Make sure you get a trinomial out of that, not a binomial. Okay, add up the h's. So it's going to be 2h squared plus 4h plus 4 and then minus 100 is equal to 0. Simplify. So you're going to have 2h squared. Or you can divide 2 away from each term, even like back at this step. Either way, plus 4h, and then it's going to be minus 96 is equal to 0. Divide 2 now, so it's going to be h squared. 4 divided by 2 is going to be a 2h, and then 96 negative divided by 2 is going to be negative 48 is equal to 0. And then from here, you just have to find the values of h that solve this. So what are these values? Well, you get to experiment a little bit. You can try, for example, like 3 times 16 and make one of these negatives, like, for example, negative 3. That doesn't work because you see it gives negative 48 when you multiply but negative 3 plus 16 that's not equal to 2 which is the coefficient on the age so negative 3 and 16 are no good look for a different way of writing negative 48 as a product so you can say negative 48 is for example 6 times 8 make say this negative so that is negative 48 but then negative 6 plus 8 is equal to positive 2 that's correct we wanted the sum to be equal to positive 2. We've got that now with negative 6 and 8. So we factor as h minus 6 and then h plus 8. And this is equal to 0. And then just set each factor to 0. So either h is 6 or h is equal to negative 8. Now the negative 8 value here, like this is not good. It's not good because it's no good because you can't have a height equal to negative 8 units. It makes no physical sense. A height is something you can measure with a ruler where everything is either zero at the beginning or it's a positive number, right? So this is not good, which means h has to be equal to the value 6, which means that the width, since it's equal to h plus 2, would be 6 plus 2, which is 8. And that pretty much gives you the dimensions of the rectangle. Leave a like if it's been helpful.